I think it was very early on in, in my life. I was about 15 years old, very active in the parish where I belong to, and that's where I felt uh, that I was being called to this type of ministry. For me, there was not one aha moment when I recognized that I was being called into ministry over a period of, of years as I would reflect on where I was and what I was doing. Um, I began to see that I was being drawn more and more into ministry in the church. My diocese actually gave me a couple of options um, where I wanted to study theology. And um, one of the options, thank God, was oblate. And I had wanted to come here before entering the seminary. So as immediately after they told me that I if I wanted to come, I, I said I, I did. I'm currently enrolled in the Masters of Divinity program, and the Masters in Divinity prepares me for the ordained ministry, and the MA is more of an academic a degree which will prepare me for in a PhD program or a doctorate if I would like to do that. Well, I actually had visited Oblate a few times in the past to uh, inquire about enrolling. And so it wasn't until the spring of 2006 I read about the SOFIA program and uh, I followed through and with the encouragement of my husband and the support of the pastor that I work with, I enrolled and began taking classes here at Oblate in the summer of 2006. I'm in the SOFIA program for women in ministry in the church and it was it is a program that was specially designed for women who are serving in active ministry in the church and so it's a group of 10 women who come together and in the month of June we spend the whole month together in classes all day and then in the other semesters we take classes online and again it's helping to prepare us for our active role in ministry in the church. Well OST has been um, like my home for the last two years and be the reason for that is because I study with people from different backgrounds. Uh, there are men and women who study here and there are people being prepared for the ordained ministry like the deacons and, uh, and us seminarians. Uh, there are people that come from various uh, faith traditions. My experience at, at Oblate has been awe-inspiring. I've learned so much in my classes. Um, I feel like I'm very much getting the understanding to back up my faith experience and it's truly inspiring to be in class with, with these great students and with the wonderful teaching staff here at Oblate. Oblate School of Theology is a graduate school of theology. We're in the Roman Catholic tradition, but we're not exclusively in the Roman Catholic tradition. We train seminarians and ministry students for other denominations. We are Oblate, and Oblate means we're missionary. We try to reach out to the poor, as well as we have an international component we, we try to draw students and people from around the world. And uh, we, because we're situated in the Southwest, the Hispanic component is very important to us as well. Well, we're over 100 years old. We were founded in 1903 to serve students from here, Mexico, and the Philippines. Our students and faculty are from all over the world, really. We have students from Africa. We have students uh, from Asia, from Latin America, Canada. Uh, a lot of our students, of course, are locally from the local region. I think if we have to name things that were unique from here, the Hispanic component. We're in the epicenter, really, of the, where the two cultures and two churches are meeting. Also the Oblate, that we, we are a missionary congregation, and so our, our slant and our ethos has that coloring all the time, reaching out to the poor and internationality. Our school offers degree programs at really every level. We have a, a doctoral program in ministry. We're bringing in a doctoral program, a PhD in spirituality. We have a number of uh, master's levels programs, a master's of ministry, master's of religious sciences, theology, and we have two certificate programs for non-degree students, one in English and one in, in Spanish. I hope to achieve uh, many things from my experience at OST, not only with the knowledge that I have um, gotten from, from here, but also the faith and how that has changed and developed throughout these years and God willing I will be able to express that to the people that I'm going to serve. 
Well, unlike my previous college studies, um, I'm not so much interested in exactly what I'm going to achieve, a particular goal. Um, I very, feel very blessed in my ministry at the parish where I serve, and I am really enjoying continuing to study and getting the foundation that helps me serve in ministry in a, in a uh, much clearer way. If you'd like to learn more about our school, I'd invite you to go to our website at www.ost.edu or phone us, area code 210, 341-1366, or better yet, why don't you come visit us here in Texas.